So this one is just about to get uh, harvested. And I'm going to do that. And I'll show you what the next process is. Uh, so I just picked that mushroom. Okay. So this is what I've been doing. Okay. So imagine this has grain in it. Uh, that's a later... That tonight's project is I got to sterilize some more grain because I ran out. But anyways, on this one, imagine this with grain. So you would take this. It's all sterilized. It's been heated up. What I do is I just cut that off. And then what I'll do... Is then I would open the jar grain and place it in there, fill it up, and then just watch it. Um, it has seemed to work. I've done four of them now, five of them now, and everyone has taken off and with zero contamination. Now, there will be contamination eventually, but I just want to say because I'm going to throw that away. This is just trash. And you can actually watch it turn blue too while I talk. So this little is just trash. So why not use it? And that's what I'm doing. So I'm using these to re-inoculate uh, corn. Uh, so far it's been working great and it's very cost effective. Um, see how it's uh, turn, turn in blue. 10 agar dishes is like 25 bucks. Plus 15 bucks in shipping. Okay. So one agar dish, say, breaks down to like anywhere between four and five bucks. Okay. Well, one agar dish gets contaminated. There goes five dollars. If one four ounce jar contaminates, it costs me less than 25 cents worth of corn. So, anyways, hope you all enjoy watching that turn blue. But yeah, that's what I do with it. And then after that, you would take that jar that has the corn with that, and then you would stick it in the incubation chamber, wait a couple weeks, and go from there. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, there'll be an actual video of me doing this here in, in a week or so, so stay tuned. So this little corn trick that I've learned about taking the base of the mushroom and throwing it into corn to get it to get back mycelium, I haven't seen that done. And I have spent the last six months watching vi uh, videos on everything about mushrooms. So I haven't seen it done. I don't know if I'm the first to do it on vid or what, but as far as I can tell, I am. So I hope you all do enjoy this little trick. It does seem to help me out. Maybe it'll help you out and keep the cost down a tad bit. Anyways, till the next vid.